Well, today, a 20-year-old man was sentenced to 40 years in prison for killing a 17-year-old who thought he was his friend. Now, we first told you about James Sotelo in the Breaking Bond series. He was free on bond for assault when he murdered Corey Leonard Thompson, Jr. Fox 26 Brandy Wallace has more. A jury listened to a week of testimony in the murder trial of 20-year-old James Sotelo. In March of 2021, he gunned down 17-year-old Corey Thompson. He had to look at him every single day of the trial. It was, that, it took a large amount of patience because you can feel your body just shaking with anger, but you knew you had to be patient so you don't have to go through that retrial all over again. Sotelo took the stand and claimed he shot Corey because he attacked him in his sleep. Of course, that's not true because every gunshot that he had was sustained from the back, 11 of them. Did he ever show any remorse? Never, not once. He never is going to take accountability for what he did. He just, he never cared. He's never going to care. He just cares for himself and beyond selfish. It only took the jury four hours to find Sotelo guilty. That was a relief for us to know that, okay, at least he would take some punishment for what happened. The trial was in the 232nd Judge Josh Hill's court. In Breaking Bond reports, we told you how Judge Hill lowered Sotelo's bond amount twice to get out and continue to commit a crime again he was caught with a gun and you are just on bond for murdering somebody with a gun it's terrible it was judge hill not the jury who sentenced Sotelo to 40 years i learned that most families don't actually get to have the moment we had today and i'm very appreciative we were actually able to get a small piece of justice versus what other families can never see in their life it's better than nothing I mean, for us, a life sentence would have been better because that's where we're sentenced to. We have a life sentence without my son. Randy Wallace, Fox 26 News. James Sotelo must serve 20 years before he can be considered for parole. He will be 40 years old. All right, so I'm going to keep this real short. Um, just kind of looking at that story. You know, look, be, be careful, you know, who you call your friend. Uh, Everybody is not your friend just because they hang out with you, they're cool with you, and they're nice to you. And it's something that I, I tell my oldest all the time because she likes to throw around the word friend uh, a lot. You know, these, these so-called friends can be worse than obvious enemies. And when you're looking at when you're looking at something like this, I mean, you know, you get blindsided. You know, you don't see the attack coming. And, and some people are good at masking their intentions and agendas. And, I, and I'm sure that this young man didn't think that somebody who he called a friend and trusted would do something like that to him. And, you know, we, we would never know what any of that was really about. And I believe this guy, James Sotelo, harbored some ill intentions against Corey Thompson Jr. for a while. I mean, they go back as far as high school. Now, I could be wrong, but I don't think the stuff like this just happens out of the blue. So you, you so you have to keep a watchful eye on people around you and, and be very selective about who you have in your circle and who you socialize with. Because to me, it, it sounds like this this James Sotelo guy was was a troublemaker and he was just in, you know, a lot of B.S., and, and honestly, I think he should have been looking at a life sentence because, uh, I mean, 11 rounds in the back is no accident. He meant to do that. Um, this 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 was something, you know, this wasn't something where he was on drugs or under the influence of alcohol. He did this completely sober. Uh, but but anyway, don't don't put so much into calling people your friends and, and just be cautious about the people that you got around you and, and just do your best to try to vet them and, and watch their behavior because some people pretend very well. But uh, y'all take care, stay safe, uh, and, and just make better choices. Peace.